we know that the 2016 Minnesota mm -hmm. State Fair is turning out to be the busiest one ever. Mm -hmm. So far, there have been three record-setting days at an all-time fair attendance record. On Saturday, 260,000 people passed through the gates at the Great Minnesota Get Together. The mild weather is being credited with the historic turnout. Couldn't have asked for a better stretch of perfect state fair weather. I think also too, you know, just with everything that's going on outside the gates and going on in the world, people probably really needed a great get together this year. Overall attendance numbers won't come out until tomorrow, but a cumulative attendance record is expected. Large crowds often lead to higher sales for the vendors at the fair. And Rachel Slavic joins us live now to explain how eating your way through the fair can actually help a good cause. I'm happy to hear this. Right, so there are so many food vendors, it's just hard to know where to begin. So knowing that your money might be going to a good cause helps make that decision a little easier. The Midway Men's Club has spent years building a fair following. We are known for the coldest beer and the best cheeseburgers in the fair. Yet good food and beverage are only part of their success. We pay for all the youth activities for like sports, for baseball. That cold beer will ultimately help make youth activities more accessible to all kids. 90% of the proceeds raised at the fair go back to the community. We have three kids, a 17, 16, and an 11-year-old, so that's nice to know. They are among a handful of food vendors whose business model is based on charitable giving. We're all volunteers and Kiwanis is a service organization. Fairgoers can't resist the $5 malts at the North Suburban Kiwanis Malt Shop. We serve uh, chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla malts. Those frozen treats have helped Kiwanis donate more than a million dollars to various organizations locally and globally over its 47 years. We also give not only to children, but also children related like the Union Gospel Mission and uh, Salvation Army. While not every vendor can afford to give the majority of their earnings, charitable giving happens on the smaller scale at Sarah's Tipsy Pies. End of the year, we uh, look over our business and we get part of our proceeds from all the Finnegan Pies to the Downstream Association of Minnesota. Two years in, and Sarah's donation total is already at $2,500. Been able to give us a new business. Giving through Fair Foods at Minnesota's Great Get Together. So those are just a few of the vendors. There are many others. You know, the local dining house, oftentimes their proceeds go to local church groups. And also there's another one, Johnny Pops. A portion of the proceeds from there goes to the Hazeltine Betty Ford Center. What a very cool story. We feel better about all those calories now, Rachel. Thank you.